During the Fourth Crusade, the Crusaders sacked Constantinople, and the Latins took over most of the territory from the Byzantine Empire, leaving the Greeks to govern over two states. Ypres, which was governed by Michael Dukas, the son of a prominent general and court official, and Nicaea, which was ruled by the Lascaris family, a noble family from Constantinople. But Theodore I Lascaris appointed his son-in-law, John III Dukas Vitatzes, as his successor, and he was the son of the former governor of Thrace. However, the Latin states had lost a great deal of land to the Nicaeans and Bulgarians, and in 1225 Theodore of Ypres took Thessalonica and Adrianople, making him the most powerful ruler in the region. But instead of attacking Constantinople, he marched against the Bulgarians and was captured in battle in 1230. And now, without their ruler, Ypres could do little to stop the Bulgarians taking over Thrace, Macedonia and Albania in just months. Ypres was then made a Bulgarian vassal and divided. Theodore's nephew Michael II took Ypres and his brother Manuel took Thessalonica. So Nicaea was left the strongest state and with Bulgaria in 1236, they tried to take Constantinople from the Latins. But the two sides could not agree who would take it, so they retreated. After this, Ivan Hassan II of Bulgaria effectively withdrew from the walls in the south, and released Theodore of Ypres after marrying his daughter. However, Theodore had been blinded by the Bulgarians, and had to return to Thessalonica dressed as a beggar, gathered his old supporters, and installed his son John as ruler. So Manuel, having been ousted, sailed to Nicaea to form an alliance there, and with their support captured Larissa in 1239. So Michael II had Ypres, John had Thessalonica, and Manuel had Larissa. But fearing a prolonged civil war, peace was made. But in 1241, both Ivan Hassan and Manuel died. So Michael II used this opportunity to take Manuel's territory. Plus, John III of Nicaea invited Theodore of Ypres to Nicaea, assuring him safe passage, but held him prisoner once he arrived. And he marched with him at the head of an army to Thessalonica in 1242, hoping the city would surrender. But the inhabitants held out, and John had to return to Anatolia because the Mongols attacked the Seljuks and turned them into a vassal in 1243. However, he left Theodore to discuss terms of surrender with his own son, and Thessalonica was absorbed into the Nicene Empire. Then in 1246, in Bulgaria, Michael Hassan took power, so John III attacked and quickly seized Ceres. Plus, Michael II of Ypres also invaded and retook lost land, while the Bulgarians also fought the Hungarian Serbs and even the Mongols. And in Thessalonica, Theodore's son died, leaving his other son, Demetrios, in power. But he proved to be unpopular, and the local nobles opened the gates to the Nicaeans, and Theodore lost his autonomy. So he fled to the court of his nephew, Michael II, and they tried to retake Thessalonica in 1251. But this failed, so they turned their attention elsewhere, taking Prilip and Veles from the weakened Bulgarians. However, John III had largely surrounded Constantinople, and continued advancing. So many of Michael's generals began to defect along with the ruler of Kruja. So Michael was forced to make peace surrendering Macedonia. And to ensure peace, Michael had to send his own son and Theodore to Nicaea as prisoner. But Theodore died and then John III died in 1254. Michael II took advantage of this, but as he marched on Thessalonica, he encountered a new enemy, Manfred of Sicily, who took Dyrrhachium. Sicily also went on to take Corfu, but later formed an alliance with Ypres through marriage. However, in Nicaea, John III's successor, Theodore II Lascaris, died in 1258, and the future Michael VIII, Paleologos, seized the position of regency. But Ypres and Sicily expanded their alliance to include Achaea, and marched on Nicaea. The two sides met at Pelagonia, however, Michael II's illegitimate son, John, the ruler of Thessaly, defected to the Nicaeans. Michael II fled, leaving the Achaeans to be defeated in battle, and be turned into a Nicene vassal. And after this victory, the Nicaeans moved on Constantinople shortly afterwards.